It seems like the hunt for an alcohol alternative appears to be extremely popular at the moment. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is look at the benefits of Aquama powder as an alternative to alcohol and even potentially Carva and Kratom. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is quite simple. It's to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please do me a favor and like this video and hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So what is Aquama? Well, Aquama, in particular the seeds, have gained popularity over the years for some as a solution to excruciating pain and for other people, it can act as a magical substance to improve mood. Today, we will have a look at the major benefits of Aquama seeds related to its nutritional qualities and also health related benefits. Now, its Latin name goes as Picralima nitida, more commonly known as Aquama. And it's basically a herb that has some very powerful alkaloids which we'll explore and specifically look at how these alkaloids can dramatically affect one's mood. Now, Aquama is most famous for its analgesic or pain relieving properties. And this plant actually originates from different regions of Africa, including Ghana, Nigeria, and also the Ivory Coast. Now, initially people used this particular herb as a medicine to treat malaria because it helps the high grade fever associated with malaria. So what do people notice when they use Aquama? People claim that it's a better alternative to opioids or opiates as it doesn't cause withdrawal symptoms and has little addictive properties. Taking just two seeds daily has helped millions of people with chronic pain and or pain related conditions. Now in different hospitals of Ghana, the seeds are sold under the brand name Picap as a painkiller and studies prove that it has potential analgesic activity. Physically active people can take the seeds alone for painful sore muscles. Now, the best part about Aquama is that it has a very rapid onset. So the effects are noticeable very quickly. In fact, for some people, the effects are visible within 15 to 30 minutes. However, other users claim that the effects are not as strong as Kratom, but it does help a lot with pain and also mood. Some of the other properties of Aquama, some people experience sedation or a sedative-like effect. So for those who suffer from sleep disorders like insomnia or nightmares, Aquama seeds actually have a powerful sedative action, a very powerful calming effect. So it can also reduce pain anxiety, and also stress. In addition, it's also known to produce a sense of relaxation. So the seeds are known for reducing stress and providing an overall euphoric sense of well-being. And towards the end of this video, we'll sort of explore how this may be occurring. I've got some really interesting data on how these alkaloids affect the opioid receptors. And so that will be really fascinating. And also if you're wondering where to purchase Aquama, I will be having it linked down below in the video description if you want to purchase Aquama powder. So how does Aquama actually work? Well, a study conducted by Andrew P. Riley at the University of Illinois at Chicago, their colleagues showed that Aquamine and three similar alkaloids isolated from the Aquama plant primarily target the opioid receptors in the central nervous system of mice. And the authors concluded that their opioid preferring activity suggests that these Aquama alkaloids provide distinct scaffolds from which novel opioids with unique pharmacological properties and therapeutic utility can be developed. So basically from what it sounds like is that some of these alkaloids present in Aquama powder may actually represent initial substrates to create opioid based drugs in the future. So this will be very interesting to see whether this truly does translate into powerful pharmaceutical opioids in the future. But as someone who's, you know, personally studied naturopathy and also worked in a pharmacy. I find this, you know, quite risky because, you know, there's pros and cons to extracting alkaloids specifically from herbs because, you know, sometimes they'll 
have some downstream negative effects. Whereas the whole herb, the whole plant extract, well, a lot of the time we actually see other constituents found within the herb that can offset some of the deleterious effects that can occur by simply isolating one particular compound. So let's sort of explore more about how Aquama works. So this study here was titled Isolation and Pharmacological Characterization of Six Opioidergic Picrolema Nitida Alkaloids. So we'll dive into this particular study. Now, what they identified was six unique alkaloids present in this particular herb. So number one is aquamine. Number two is aquamidine. We've got pseudoaquamagine, aquamacine, aquamine, and then picroline. So these are the major alkaloids that have been identified in the aquama herb. So really interesting was this particular table that I found within this study was how these particular alkaloids can bind to and or affect various receptor um, systems in the brain. Now we can see all the way down from the serotonin receptors, the alpha receptors, beta receptors, the dopamine D1 to D5, dopamine transporter, the GABA receptors, histamine receptors, opioid receptors, muscarinic, norepinephrine, and other receptors downstream, CERT and sigma. So this was really interesting. They're looking at docking studies where they can basically see how these particular alkaloids can displace the receptor to identify potential agonistic or antagonistic properties. So this is really fascinating to see how these alkaloids specifically interact with the respective receptors. And this is something that I think is really interesting to look at because this is what I think is the future of biohacking and nootropics is where we can specifically identify which receptor site to target to elicit a certain behavioral effect. For example, there's some studies showing that the 5-HT1A receptor is responsible for releasing you know, vasopressin and oxytocin. So by having an agonistic effect at this receptor, it may lead to a downstream release of oxytocin. So this is really fascinating to see. So looking at the cellular signaling related to these aquama alkaloids at the opioid receptors, basically what we're seeing is that the previous findings represent that these alkaloids are known to affect the opioid receptors. And it was observed that the aquama alkaloids potency was too weak to accurately determine better arrest and recruitment. However, several alkaloids display significant recruitment at the highest dose that could be tested. The pharmacological profile of the aquama alkaloids stands in contrast to the kratom alkaloids, particularly the 7-hydroxymitragenine, which can be classified as a highly potent G-protein biased opioid agonist. Of all the aquama alkaloids investigated, number four stands out as being a relatively potent kappa opioid receptor agonist. Now, the promiscuity of four for the other receptors is conceivably problematic. However, it has potential for serving as scaffold for developing novel kappa opioid receptor agonists. So yet again, we're seeing how these alkaloids may be used in the future as initial substrates to design powerful pharmacological drugs. So looking at a dosage for aquama extract, we're looking at about 500 milligrams orally up to once a day. Now, obviously this is something you'll need to coordinate with your healthcare professional as with all herbs and supplements. Be careful when combining with other medications such as SSRIs or other opioids. And the one that I'll link down below is a 0.5% minimum. So 0.5% minimum of the aquamine alkaloid that's present, which is one of the predominant alkaloids. So in addition, there is a very bitter taste, a very strong bitter profile, which makes sense. A lot of other alkaloids are very bitter. So yeah, this is yet another alternative, maybe a, an option for those who are looking for something to improve mood, reduce pain, reduce anxiety and help with sleep. Yeah, the initial research does look quite promising and I'm excited to see this ingredient used more in the future. And if you guys are specifically looking for a customized protocol, maybe a customized supplement stack or a nootropic stack, check the link in the video description down below. I have a service where I specifically design customized protocols for people for their exact needs. So if you're suffering from, let's say anxiety or burnout, or you wanna be more funny, sarcastic, I've got options in there down below. So otherwise guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.